How you doing guys? And I just thought I'd do something different for this video and we're going to talk about one of my favourite brands in the world which is Panasonic. And as most of you know, I've recently bought a Panasonic camera and you might be thinking why did I do that because I've got a lot of questions why. So I'm going to try to explain. This is Stefan Sonnefeld. He's the senior colourist at Company 3. They deal with a lot of Hollywood movies, one of some of the best Hollywood movies out there. And they use Panasonic OLEDs to actually color grade their movies now. So movies like Harry Potter, Wonder Woman, Star Wars movies, they've all been colored on and finalized on Panasonic OLEDs, which is absolutely amazing for a television that you can actually just go to a local shop and buy. Normally, a colorist monitor from Sony, say, would cost you about £40,000 for a 40, no, a 32-inch monitor. So the fact that they're doing it on OLEDs that cost, you know, £1,000 or £1,500 is absolutely amazing. And, you know, this stuff here, which you can see shot on Panasonic cameras, looks absolutely stunning. Hollywood-level stuff we're talking about, and they've got the moniker Hollywood to your home. So I was looking for, you know, at the Panasonic cameras, and there wasn't much good footage online. It seems everyone seems to butcher it and over colour the GH5, GH5S, S1H, they seem to butcher the colour. But I came across this YouTuber and I will link him down below and you can see that the colours which he got from Vlog is absolutely stunning. The quality, it's so sharp and it's amazing. I love this actual video and he's actually done another one which is New York which you can see right now and the sharpness, the detail of it was just absolutely flawless. Me and my son was watching this video and we actually thought it reminded us of the uh, the Dark Knight in Batman, that it was that clean. Now, yes, some of you might argue that it looks a bit video-ish, but we're going to get to that later. But me looking at this footage, I was absolutely blown away that this wasn't done in RAW and it was just done in, in 422 10-bit. It's absolutely stunning what is coming out of the Panasonic. And really, as a person who's worked for Panasonic for, you know, over 12, 12 about, roughly about 12 years, I should have known their quality to detail. But they're just not known that well in the market. So looking for a new cam camera, it came down to three contenders. And the three contenders, I'm going to talk about them now. So first was the Red Komodo, the Canon C70, then the Panasonic BGH-1, which is the lowest camera there is and I chose the BGH-1. This camera to me is just absolutely everything that I wanted in a camera. Now I know it hasn't got the raving reviews that it's, it should have got but this camera is meant for a completely different purpose than your average creator. So we're going to jump into that in a second but I want to show you my BGH-1. Absolutely beautiful love it to rig this i didn't even need a cage it was so easy to rig up put in my handle my monitor everything on it was just so easy because of the amount of quarter 20 screws that it has the bgh1 is also the, uh, the cheapest netflix approved camera so you could actually shoot a full netflix production on this camera and submit it to netflix that doesn't really matter to us though because most of us aren't going to be submitting anything to netflix so let's go into another test by matteo batoli these are the settings which he used in this video and he compared it to the P4K and the P4K is a camera that I own and which I'm extremely fond of. I actually love my P4K for its quality, for the small file sizes and everything that it just gives. It just gives so much and it's been reliable for me for the 13-14 months that I had it. So when I had my worries about the footage from the uh, Panasonic BGH-1 and looking online and I was just seeing complete butchery of the footage, um, I came across Matteo's uh, video. And yes, this is a GH5S, but the BGH-1 has the same sensor as the GH5S. The only real difference is it has one more stop of dynamic range, so 13 stops of dynamic range. So when I saw this video, I thought, well, if he can do this with a GH5S, all it takes is a little bit of know-how to know what you're doing. No, I'm not the best colorist. I'm not a good colorist at all actually, but I'm still learning a lot. So this is why I chose this camera. Panasonic have also released an update recently. Well, it actually it's coming in April, which will allow their Lumix line, the S1H, the SH and the BGH-1 to record RAW and ProRes over HDMI. So the BGH-1 will only do ProRes RAW on an Atomos Ninja 5, but the S1H, for example, will do bra over HDMI as well. So there's gonna be quite a few flavors, uh, quite a few options that you'll have to do that. You'll need a Blackmagic Assist to do bra with the S1H, 
me, I will need an Atomos Ninja 5 and I will be able to do ProRes RAW, which is absolutely fantastic because on my test, what I've been able to do with the 10 bit that's built in, it's absolutely flawless. I love it, M amazing. Now let's talk about another few reasons why I bought this camera and it's mainly to do with the future and the connectivity of this camera is just absolutely mind blowing. We're going to talk about some of the basic ones first, like controlling the camera and viewing the live view over your mobile phone. The Wi-Fi connection between the two is absolutely solid. The lag is very minimal until a point where you hardly notice it. I can control the focus, ISO, aperture, white balance, everything can be controlled. It is absolutely stunning. I've tried, done so many tests, not just skin tone tests and, and um, a highlight recovery. I've done all sorts of tests in terms of connectivity and it's just absolutely amazing. When I record using my mobile phone as a touchscreen monitor, I can then go into the menu I can play this footage back to check it out and it plays back in re it's so good the way it plays back it, it, it's actually quite fast it, a real usable item here for something that I already have now I don't even need to carry a monitor when I'm taking my drone and this camera out I can use my phone for literally everything that I want to do and that's just the beginning of the connectivity I mean we've got SDI out on here gen lock for time codes and these are the main reasons why it's been Netflix approved Again, the Netflix approval shouldn't really mean anything to you unless you're working on big productions, working with Netflix, but it just shows you what we have. In this new COVID era, we need to have high connectivity. Everybody's streaming, Zoom calls, live conferences, people are streaming their concerts and, and plays and all sorts of things to, to broadcast. And when you have a broadcast quality camera, it's just something that you just, you know, feel that you could take this into any situation you wanted to, whether it's, you know, recording a movie or going straight into broadcast. It's absolutely amazing and we've only just touched the tip of the iceberg here. So guys, thank you for watching this video. This was just a short demo about the BGH1 and just a, a short info guide on Panasonic and why I chose this camera. My footage will be coming soon, so stay tuned to the channel for that one. And guys, again, thanks again for watching and take care and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.